It's good, y'all. Hope you're having a good day. Got some lather here. Um, so we're gonna be going with straight shave number two. Let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, we're going back to the AJ Jordan, uh, full hollow, um, 11 16th. What else am I not saying that I'm supposed to know? I don't know. Um, I did 25 laps on both the linen and the leather for the strop. Getting better at stropping, I hope. Okay. Um, so today we'll be for the scent. We'll be going with uh, Torchwood. Sorry, cut off there. Torchwood by Australian Private Reserve, and I like this scent more than Raconteur. Off the puck, it smells like you're gonna, you're gonna call me crazy. It smells like an alcoholic lemonade beverage, but like so much fancier than that. It smells good. Um, I don't mean that as a knock, but when I once I lathered it, it started to open up more. I did lather it ahead of time. I did lather it in my sterling bowl. I'm a peasant and I don't have the Lancaster, so this does. <laughs> Apparently wet, la wet lathers are better for uh, straight razor shaves, so I'm trying that out. Um, and we're going with my Monster 30 millimeter Maggard Synthetic. Yep, freaking 30 mils, bro. You can see the sheen off there, pretty wet lather. A little bit bubbly we're just gonna go with it i have um paa ice tube on the face i felt if my face was a little little numb it might make me um less soft <laughs> with the razor because <laughs> i was like too scared to shave last time all right let's do it let's get into it don't want to waste time I'm painting this on yeah this stuff's cold um Way colder than Terror Raid, tell you that. Just gonna paint some more on. It feels like I'm painting like something. I mean, I am painting. It just feels weird. Because that's not how I lather. <laughs> Super hydrated lather. Yeah. So, um, I'm not really a fan of this base. I found it a little drying. So, I did combine it with some Bear Sierra. Um, just to kind of kick it up a notch uh, No knock on APR, but Yeah, it's just not as good <laughs> And that's okay um, When I'm more experienced I can get away with whatever Whatever soap I want But right now I'm a newbie So that's what I'm gonna do All right Yeah, my face is frozen we are lathered up. Let's get into it. So I figured you gotta hold a razor like so, flip it over. Um, let me get my, f get, get this right, okay. <clears throat> All right, first pass. No idea how this is gonna go, but we'll see how it goes. Just trying to get the grip. I might not talk as much because I'm trying to focus, but um, I did do a shave off camera last week with uh, Ken, and he taught me how to hold a razor and uh, what kind of angles to use and whatnot. So that's what I'm kind of doing, the technique he taught me or the technique everyone uses. Um, yeah. So it seems you want to keep a shallow angle the whole time. Yeah, is it shallow? 15 degree angle. <laughs> Degrees are easier for me. Yeah. Not bad so far. Nice. We are cutting, I think. I don't know. We're working on like... 24 hours of growth, 24. Um, I'm not seeing much hair in the lather, but a little bit. All right, the left hand I think might be harder, but we gotta do it. Am I holding this right? 
Yep, there you go. So the bleed has to point towards my shoulder. Thanks again for your feedback, guys, in the last video. Very helpful. I think I did uh, roll the edge, but I fixed it somehow. <laughs> I don't know. It starts cutting all of a sudden. This is what lather feels good so far. Um, sorry, this stuff is slippery as hell, and I'm all over the place. I forgot how to do the middle. I don't know. It's, uh, hold on, I'm trying to hold it correctly. You know you're a noob when you forget how to hold it. Damn. All right, cool. For, for anyone who straight shaves, is it like weird as hell for you to, if you're a righty, was it weird as hell for you to like start using in, uh, your left hand? Because it's kind of weird for me. All right, the neck, here we go. All right. I felt that a little bit, a little bit of tugging. I can hear it cutting, just barely. I see a lot of hair, okay. Um, anyways, the scent notes on, I forgot the name of the freaking soap. Torchwood. <laughs> Cedar, sandalwood. Oh, do I get a cut? Uh, whatever. Rosewood, mahogany. Civet or Civet tobacco. Whew. What else? Teakwood, leather, high rocks, patchouli, musk, apricot, and plum. Um, smelling it off the puck, I didn't get it. But smelling it lathered, uh, I definitely get it. Yeah. Um, I get when I say get it, I mean like more notes. Like I get the dark plum, the dried apricot that it claims it has, and the leather mahogany. The leather doesn't come as strong as it does on Rack and Tour, but I do like it more than Rack and Tour so far. All right, let's do the left side or the right side. Left hand, cool. Trying to maintain that angle. But apparently when you go against the grain, you're allowed to use your right hand the whole time. Am I getting that right? Yeah. As you can see, the improvement already was, I think, in my opinion, I think it's huge over the last shave. Like at least I'm cutting, you know? Like, I wasn't even cutting. Um, all right. All right. I still see lather. I do have some blood. Not a ton. But the middle is kind of tricky for me. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna use the right hand for the middle, see how that goes. Oh, yeah. It feels so weird. But it's cutting guys, it's freaking cutting. I got some blood on the leather, but I don't give a shit. We are cutting. 
<laughs> Yo, I'm in such a good mood, guys. Um, for the first time in six months, the gym is finally open, and I finally was able to work out. Um, yeah, so that's that's a big thing for me. Took forever. All right, I think we're gonna done with the first pass. I don't wanna, oops, I'm not supposed to let the bleed. Uh, rookie move. All right, um, what do I do now? I guess, what the face? Get ready for pass two. All right, let's go. Got gobs of lather. Look at that sheen. I know you, I know you can see that sheen through the camera. I can see it through here. This stuff is cold, but it feels so good. I'm telling you, man, it smells like lemonade. Like, I get a little bit of leather, and I get the mahogany. I get the dark plum. Somehow, the other 10 notes or whatever combines to give me lemonade. Zen Shaves uh, commented on my last video when I used Amari. And he's like, it smells like gummy bears. <laughs> and I was like, I guess, sweet, but too much coconut for me to say that. I guess painting is kind of fun. He's slathering. It's pretty fun too, though. All right, let's do it. So we're going to go against the grain. And apparently you're supposed to hold it differently. Sorry, Ken, I'm already forgetting how to do this. I think it's like this. No. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes, no, yes. There you go. That's kind of better. This doesn't feel right. Okay. Nope. I forgot how to hold it, guys. Bear with me. All right. I think I got it. That feels pretty secure. Not really. Okay, I got it. <laughs> All right, I promise I got it this time. All right, here we go. Like this, underhand, we are going against the green. Carlitos, man, after seeing like your first couple shaves like a couple months ago or a few weeks ago, you're such a quick learner, man. I wish, I hope I can learn as quick as you. <laughs> a little irritation but I'm dropping the angle and I'm just trying to muscle through the hair at this point because it wasn't really cutting if I don't do that uh, when I talked to Max Sprecher he said that a full hollow would is probably less ideal for someone with coarse hair like me um, but apparently a lot of people with coarse hair are still able to use full hollows fine so all right here we go Gotta contour the angle as I go up. Let's see. Let's see if I can do that. Not bad. It's a lot closer than I did last time. Sorry guys, I'm not gonna talk. Like it's just, it's so hard to straight razor shave and talk. See the blood. All right, wipe that off. Ooh, we got some hair. It is cutting. It's so hard not to get lather on your hands though. All right, cool. Yeah, so I had a good workout. Endorphins are pumping right now. Getting a good shave in. 
not really, but I'm, I'm learning, so it's all good. Um, great. Slipping hands feels even worse on the against the grain. Cool. I think this is right. Hold on. There you go. Ow, that hurt. I'm not going against the grain on the mustache. We got two cuts, and I don't even go with the grain on with a DE, so. Nope, sorry about that, I got a phone call. Let me uh, finish this against the grain pass. I just wiped this part off, um, just so I could see better, or grip, grip it better. All right, cool, let's do this. Let's finish it, guys. <sighs> sorry if I'm taking a while. I'm just trying to get the grip down. Um, doesn't feel right. Alright, I think this is it. I'm dropping the angle as steep as I can. Um, but you just gotta muscle through the hair. It's just, last time I wasn't really pushing hard enough because I thought it was just gonna cut into my skin. But if I really drop that angle, I'm able to power through. But as a result, um, it is a little bit rougher on my skin, you know? Um, I'm getting some irritation, but I guess that's expected. Yeah, I'm using the wrong form right now. Hold on. Come here, break. 10 years of she vet. <laughs> Shaving is going to do that. <laughs> I mean, it's still a shit job, but it's way better than the last time, so I'll take it. It's not gonna happen overnight, you know? I think that's what I have to kind of accept. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, all right, let me... She was pretty close, actually. That's awesome. This is not, so... Sorry, I have no idea how long the video is right now because uh, I got a phone call. I think I was at eight minutes, I don't know. And then plus, I don't know. No, it was like 18 minutes. <laughs> all right. Uh, there we go. 
Still not that close. Let's try it again. Different angle, I guess. Let's try it. I mean, I can hear it cutting. hear it. I'm not crazy. Yo, say what you guys want, dude. It's much harder if you have a beard to shave with a straight because you got to go around like a portion of your face. Um, I think it's harder. Um, cause you gotta stop. Cause, um, you want a continuous stroke from what I'm hearing. You kind of want a continuous stroke. Um, but yeah, regardless, um, skills are major lacking. All right, let's see if I can do this. hurt a little bit a little bit it takes many passes for me to get a close shave with this it's it's not close at all but I think we're gonna call it with the straight because it is, uh, I don't know. I don't want to get more irritation. I'm bleeding all over. So I'm going to finish with my paradigm. It's out. I don't know, unless you guys think I should just like power through it. Like am I, am I how many passes on a straight razor is too many passes? I think that's what I want to know. As you can hear, it's still cutting. Yeah, that was much closer. And I kind of hit this at the same angle. I don't know if you guys could see it, but I... This angle, I couldn't really do because I felt like I... It's hard to... No, I was using the right hand. I feel like it was hard to do, but I guess that comes with time. I don't know if I'm over eager, let me know. If I'm trying to get BBS with a straight razor on my second try is like asking for too much, then let me know. Um, but yeah, um, I'll probably finish more off camera. I don't wanna drag this out cause I didn't want this to be like mainly a straight razor theme shave. Um, and there's no matching splash. I don't have it anyways, so yeah uh sorry i was looking down looking to see if i have the any sort of post i'd normally just use this at that point but um yeah i guess that's it guys uh thanks for watching this is straight shave number two uh i thought it was kind of a crappy shave but it's still like a thousand times better than the first one so as long as i'm making progress progress is beautiful uh the brush 30 millimeter monster uh synthetic from maggards i don't know why i bought this <laughs> i got it months and months ago back when i thought bigger is better <laughs> when it comes to brushes i was just going up up the chain i was like i gotta try 30 you gotta try 30 but yeah anyways that's it guys i'll catch you guys in the next one have a good one